All right, Clyde, can we, if we do this, can we keep it sharp? Because we want to make sure. Say that again. If you, if you can get it out now, we'll honor it. We are on native land after all. And we are going to honor, if you can honor the, the time that we have. Justice, son. How about you? You got the way we done in Disney cars or she shocked or then on Shinabe or Gichida Three Fire Society gathered at the Sacred Pipe Sundance American Indian Movement. My spirit name is Nagan the way we done. I am the thunder before the storm. My colonial name is Clyde Belcourt. I was given that at birth because when I was born 79 years ago, we were forbidden by this government in collusion with the churches to speak our native tongue again. We were forbidden to pray, to sing, to dance. They've taken everything that they could from us since then. They've taken everything but our dignity and our pride. I am the founder. I am the founder and the national director of the American Indian Movement. It was founded right here in the city of Minneapolis when civil rights and human rights was strictly a black and white issue here in America. The Indian people were totally forgotten, like we didn't exist anymore. They thought John Wayne got all of us. George Armstrong Custer killed all of us. The United States government got rid of all of us, but we were still here. And I get angry. I get angry when I hear you and Hillary and Donald Trump and the rest of these right-wingers never saying a certain single word about what happened to the native people of this land. This is why the movement was formed. And this is my question. I went through a nine and a half month, the longest trial in the criminal history of the United States government to extinguish all native tribes in America in St. Paul, Minnesota, following the occupation of Wounded Knee. I was the man that led those people into Wounded Knee. Because we felt if we didn't stand up, if we didn't stand up what was right for Indian people, that we would surely perish as a people. And when that trial ended, we found out they would never, ever listen to our treaties because they didn't know nothing about them. White America is totally scholastically retarded when it comes to Indian people and our culture, tradition, our history. Claude, well, I love this. We I'm gotta saying get to a this. Question. Let's get to the question. I got something to say and I'm gonna say it. Right. And if you have to carry me out of here, carry me out of here because I'm going to speak because I'm tired of this bullshit. Uh, I'm tired of this bullshit. I've never heard, this is the first night I've heard anybody even mention the name Native people or Indians. And you know why? Because I'm here. They knew they had to say something. So, so a question. And What's the question, Clyde? Here's my question. Great. We went to the United Nations. We're the only Indian organization that's militant, radical, terrorist organization, as they try to call us. We were the first ones to give United, United Nations non-government organizational status. And we had to go. We need the question, Listen Clyde. to me. I'm Let's getting get to question. it. Okay. I'm getting to it. We had to go to the United Nations because our elders asked us. If we didn't get that type of international recognition, this government and this corporate government would wipe us out. And then we had to form a permanent forum. Right, Clyde, we got to get to the question. Listen to me. You've I'm, got time. I'm with you, but we got to get to the question. Bernie's got time. And you guys got time well, to hear what I have to this say. This is a black forum, but listen, and we want to give time for this, but we got to have a balance. It's not a black forum. It's people of color, and I'm right. one of those colors. Okay. It's not a black Let's forum. Let's get to the question. Let's get to That's the question. That's all over with, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Just get to all the right, question. Here's what I'm saying. We had to travel the whole United States, Canada, Central and South America, all the way to the southern tip. We had to go into the Congo. In South Africa, I meet with black people, tribal people. Clyde, question, question. You got a question, bro. 
question. Just My ask the question. My question is this. Here we go. After 30 years, listen to me, Ben. After 30 years, I work within the United Nations. The United Nations finally quiet, signed quiet. the Declaration of oh, Rights for Indigenous People. All right. I want to know. I want to know if you're going to honor those treaties. I want to know if you're as president. Right. If you become the president of the United States, are the you going to honor the treaties made with the Indian people? There we go. Are you going to honor the treaties? Are you going to honor the treaties? The Native American people have gotten a terrible deal from the federal government. I will do everything I can to redress that. Absolutely. Thank you all very much. You can't answer the question. You still haven't answered the question. So we're going to end up. We're going to end on that note. We want to thank you all for coming.